it was me and Katerina, and we were driving back to Kartitsa, and uh, we saw, as we were driving, a little puppy in a bridge, all alone, in a main street. It was very scared puppy, very afraid. He wouldn't approach. So we were there trying for more than uh, two hours, if I remember correct. He tried to bite several times. So finally, after um, about two hours, uh, Katerina managed to catch it. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. And this was the beginning of what would be one of the most viral rescue stories of the internet. For Marley himself, his rescue was more of an abduction. Born on the streets by a feral mom, he never knew what humans were all about. At two months, he lost everything he knew, his mother. And after his rescue, he was suddenly in a world where nothing and no one was familiar. Feral puppies are a lot easier to socialize than feral dogs, so Marley was given time. His response to the unknown was to hide, to face the wall. Patience and more patience and more patience got him to open up a bit. Feral dogs don't feel comfortable around humans, but they do feel comfortable around dogs. So with the help of one of the shelter's most social dogs, the rescuers tried to make Marley understand that the unknown is not as bad as he thinks. The problem in shelters with many dogs and just a couple of volunteers is that the time, the knowledge and the effort needed to help a dog like Marley is a luxury. When you have to care for uh, over 100 animals, it is very difficult to deal with uh, behavior issues. We don't have uh, not the proper time or the volunteers to deal with such behaviors. Marley's sad story went viral in Greece and the rescuer's pleas for a home or a foster home did not go unanswered. Marley was offered a foster home by a trainer in Athens and just as he had started to get used to his new life in the shelter, that changed again. For the better, of course. But I still miss the way, the way you used to feel. Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too... It is a miracle to watch a puppy learn to watch him grow mentally, to watch him discover new things, new emotions, new relationships. During this month that he was being trained and socialized in the proper environment, Marley blossomed. He went from being a feral little piranha to a happy, sweet boy. It was as if he was thinking, oh, that's what life is all about. And then we got even better news that Marley was adopted. How lucky was he to go to his forever home already socialized and trained, right? He had it all. He was ready. The conditions could not have been better for what we thought would be the success story of the year, right? Well, not really. A few months later, when we thought that all was going smoothly, the adopter dropped a bomb. His first dog had never accepted Marley. The situation had deteriorated so much to the point where Marley was not just being bullied and attacked by the other dog, he had now started attacking back. I can't deal with this anymore, the adopter said, I'm sorry. Why we didn't have this information sooner? Why he didn't ask for help sooner? Why did it have to come to this? I don't know. Dogs are paying for human mistakes all the time and Marley was one of those dogs. The option of returning a young dog that had developed signs of aggression to a shelter of 100 dogs seemed like a nightmare. After the adopter said that he can't have him anymore, it was a huge, huge problem, not only for us, but for Marley too. It will be, it will be a disaster for him to come back in a shelter with 100 stray animals, all strays for him. No people to help him, to socialize him, to walk him. It will be a different world for him to a dog that had already issues. This will be a disaster for him. I just couldn't let that happen. Not for this dog. 
He was immediately removed from his adoptive home and taken to a kennel in Athens for a couple of days until we figured things out. The feedback from the kennel's owner, extremely dog aggressive. How had it come to that? Having a dog so young rot in a kennel and labelled dog aggressive because of mistakes over mistakes made by humans was not an option. I asked for help from the only person I knew could help him. The only person I knew had experience with dogs like Marley and the only person I knew was able to reintroduce Marley to dogs. Yeah. Bravo, Matilda! Watching the first interaction between Marley and George was like watching a small miracle happen before my eyes. I was so angry and at the same time I was so happy. It was as if I could see Marley's entire life, all the things he learned, all the things he didn't, all the things that were shown to him the wrong way and all the things he was willing to experience in the future. I don't know where that fragile, scared puppy was anymore, but definitely it wasn't there. And yet, this was still such a young dog, not even one year old, and he had already gone through so many changes. Every time he'd put his trust in a situation, this would change again and then again and again, all within less than eight months, the first eight months of his life. With his knowledge, his love for dogs, and with the help of his training partner, Matilda, his rescue pit bull, George studied Marley. He trained him, he reintroduced him to himself and to the dogs, and he gave him the opportunity and the foundation to be the best he can be. That's where all of us can be anyway, the best of who we are, not of who people wish we were, not of who the internet wishes we are, not even who the people who loved us as fragile sweet babies wish we were. Marley was first of all muzzle trained. The muzzle saved his life and it is what's helping him coexist and function and it will be part of him for the rest of his life. He was leash trained, he was house trained, he grew to be a proud, confident, clever dog. With supervision and understanding of the situation, he learned to function in a pack of dogs. Looking at him sometimes, you just want to bring back time and change the life story of that innocent puppy he used to be. That's just impossible. He is almost two years old now and he belongs in a home and as I'm writing these words, my hands are shaking because I know that after all the changes in his life, he needs to go through one more that will be the last. And I am terrified of that. I've been talking to the only person who knows him well enough and I know the value that every single detail about Marley actually has. Every single detail. Well, yeah, just to explain, he's a, a strong personality, you know, he is, he is somebody, you know, he, if there's another personality on the other side, he will test it and we'll see how, how big are you and how big uh, I am, you know, something like this. On the walks, for example, uh, right now, still I got the Fimotro on because um, if he got in losing his nerves or some other dog is coming or something like this it could be getting he could be getting so excited in the other situations he's completely orientating on me he's very nice he's um, cooperative with me he likes to be cooperative with, with humans I think he would be a very good partner in crime you know to do some sports or whatever work 
searching knows uh, knows um, work something like this it would be perfect perfect and he likes to to shine and he likes to shine for people and to play he's very playful you can play with him very good but of course he need also strict um, rules because he's very good in, in, in reading humans and seeing um, also a weakness and um, if you don't get a strict stop or something like yeah you have to uh, you are you are able to stop him or to say yes or to say no um, he will find the, the the gap to go inside and find another solution um, for him uh, a solution for him so uh, he needs of course uh, people who can decide who knows uh, not who knows, but who, who could be strict and say, okay, this is a yes and this is a no. And he so these are some of the reasons this dog whose story has gone viral not once, not twice, but several times so far has not been adopted yet. His description in an ad would be, he is general, better with females. He is super with humans and likes to cooperate. Self-confident, cocky, strong personality, enthusiastic, playful, high energy level, very attentive, often feels responsible, tests a lot, quickly loses his nerve, daredevil, wants to take care of everything, orientates himself well towards people. If something is important to him, he tries to decide, enjoys closeness to people, likes exercise, and of course, how strained, leash strained, etc. Funny how words put together make up an entire personality of a dog in such detail that have you wondering if Marley knows himself as well as we know Marley. Rehoming dogs like him scares the hell out of rescuers. It scares me. I know that even after this video, most people will focus on the sad story, on the scared puppy. Many will still think that all he needs is love and a cuddle. Many will comment that the muzzle is cruel, which is not. The muzzle is a lifesaver when it's needed and it protects Marley and everyone around him. Others will insist that George keeps him, and I'm sorry to say that comments advising rescuers to keep their rescues are the most damaging of all. And I know I just excluded about 90% of you who thought five minutes ago that, oh my god, I want to adopt this dog. But I'm hoping that among all the misunderstandings, there will be those who will understand. And among those who will understand, there might be one that will say, this confident daredevil of a dog is the one for me. <laughs> I've seen it happen with more difficult dogs, I believe. I can see it happen with Marley. As a story, Marley is many life lessons in one. Lessons about the mistakes we make, the false perceptions we have, the impact of our false perceptions on someone's life, our constant efforts to fix things and our failure to do so. That's the value of the story. The value of the dog is the same as the value of every dog out there. This is just one who happened to go viral. <laughs>